Good morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever and whenever you are. My name is Benjamin, and welcome to another Game Maker tutorial. Now, this is going to be an extremely quick Game Maker tutorial just to show you guys the basics of physics. Now, uh, this re this tutorial is going to require no previous Game Maker experience, um, and it will have a little teeny bit of code but not very much and I'll do my best to explain that code so if you've never built anything in Game Maker before um, and you want to start playing with it this is a good tutorial for you some of my uh, current subscribers that may be a little more experienced this video is um, it might be good for you to learn some vocabulary and some definitions and maybe if you've never done physics, it'll be good for you then too. But it will be basic, a really basic tutorial. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a new sprite. Now, uh, in Game Maker, this is called your resource tree right here. This is where all the resources for your game are. This is um, just kind of a window for editing those resources. And uh, this is the compiler window, which we don't actually probably need we can get rid of that so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna create a new sprite and a sprite is just an image that can be associated in your game so we're gonna call this SPR box and we're gonna edit the sprite and I'm gonna press this new uh, I don't get my toll tips but it's like a new sprite so we'll do that and we'll do a width of 32 and 32 okay double click on it um, scroll to zoom in here and I'm gonna make this uh, let's make it greenish blue that's a good color okay got this green box now press the green check mark press the green check mark again and we're going to center this green box okay now we're gonna right click on that sprite or we're gonna duplicate it or we're gonna call this object I can't talk tonight we're gonna to call this object solid okay and um, we're gonna uncenter this origin by setting the these both back to zero so that'll put it right up at the top corner there we're gonna edit this sprite double click on it and I'm gonna get a dark gray color and paint it dark gray it's kind of hard to see but and that's all we need to do with that so we'll press OK now we're gonna create two objects to associate with those two sprites so we're gonna create an object and then another object so just do it twice and you'll see we have two windows here for object properties now we're going to um, we're going to uh, right here in the object properties you can see there's a spot for sprite so we're going to assign the sprite to these objects let's do our sprite box for the first one and our object solid <laughs> which should be sprite solid go back into that sprite rename it SPR solid underscore solid now we're gonna name both these objects we're gonna name this object box and we're gonna name this object solid now we have these objects and we can actually place them in our game now so let's come and I'm gonna save this real quick and we need to create a room to create those or to put those objects in so if you'll see up here there's a little create room icon we're gonna click on that and it will bring up a room properties window now uh, we're going to change the size of this room we're going to change this room to 640 width and this is under the settings tab and 360 height so that looks like a pretty good size for our room and for the background um, click on backgrounds and we can change its color um, I'm just going to do like a uh, well maybe I'll do black yeah I'll probably do black so now as you can see um, when we click on the objects tab we can actually put these in our room and if you turn on the grid 
then you can see that they will snap to this grid and we can put a few of these green boxes that we made in the room. We can come and we can create some of these gray boxes or the solid objects. And if we come up here to the top and press the green play button, it will actually compile and run our game. And this is a game. Now, that, well, it's probably not really a game because you can't actually even do anything right now. So let's make it so we can do something. Um, let's come back into our room and actually go to the settings of the room and we're going to rename it just RM for room. Now, inside of our room, um, you'll notice that the green boxes are on the, on the cross of the grid and the gray boxes are not and the reason for that is because of the center of our sprites you can see this green box is its origin is centered um, and this gray box its origin is at zero zero so that's why this one moves around at zero zero and this one moves around centered but what we're going to do is we're going to use the gray box for our walls so if you hold control and right click, you can just delete all these objects. Now we're going to go back to objects and click on the gray box. And we're going to turn off the grid for now. Put one gray box up here at the top left hand corner like this. And you can scroll to zoom in and out. But what we're going to do is we're going to grab the bottom right corner and we're going to drag it all the way down to here. And we're going to put one over here on this top right corner and we're going to drag it all the way down to here again and we're going to put one right here next to this other one and we're going to drag it all the way to the right and it's important you're doing this with the object solid that has the zero zero origin or the scaling is going to be different and act weird so now we're going to put one right here and we're going to drag this one a little extra so it's thicker like that. And for fun, I'm just going to put a couple in the room as well, like this. OK. Now I'm going to grab some green ones and put them in the room. And make sure they're not touching any of the gray ones. So we want this room to use physics and we want it to um, we want there to be gravity in this room so that these boxes will fall. So if we come up here you can see there's a physics tab. We're going to click that and there's a check box here that says room is a physics world. And we're going to want to check that right there. The other thing, the other thing we're going to want to do is this um, x, these x and y values here, are part of um, well, what's called a vector. But we won't go into that too much. What I can tell you is that x is the horizontal gravity and y is the vertical gravity, and we're going to want a positive y amount because that's going to actually be downwards. So let's make this um, 20 instead of 10. We're just going to increase that a little bit. Well, let's make it 30. We'll make it 30. So our room is now a physics world, but our boxes, our objects are not. So let's go over to our objects. First, let's go to the object solid and double click on it to bring up its properties. What we're going to do now is we're going to um, we're going to check this uses physics box, and you'll see when we check that that a whole bunch of new properties come over. And what collision shape is this new physics object? Well, it's a box. And to make sure that that, that shape gets done correctly, we need to check. We need to click this bu button right here called Modify Collision Shape. So we'll click that, and you can see when we scroll in and zoom in here that um, this box does not actually go over our 
gray box correctly. So we're going to drag this corner down and then drag this corner over so that it matches up. And we're going to press OK. Now this object is going to be a static object in our physics world and what that means is that it cannot be moved by other physics objects. It can't be moved or rotated or anything. It's going to be solid because it's going to be the edges of our room, right? It's like the cement. So we don't want this to move at all. So what we're going to do is we're going to set, set its density value to zero. Now this gives it an infinite density, which means we cannot move this object. And we won't worry about these other values for now. I may do more physics tutorial videos later if you guys really like these. And I can explain some of these other values. But for now, we're not going to do anything with those. So press the green check mark. Now we're going to go into our green object, our object box. And we're going to check uses physics. And we're going to check um, the modify collision shape. And oops, it's a circle. So come back and check it on a box and click it again and you will see that this one is lined up correctly so we don't need to worry about adjusting this one it, it's working right now this one has a density of 0.5 and that might actually be fine um, we'll probably be okay with that but what we do need to do is we need to give this one a collision event with um, the object solid you can see let's go back to our room and we'll actually run it real quick press the green check mark you can see that, oh, they fall because there's gravity, but they just go right through the floor. Well, why is that? It's because they don't know that they're supposed to collide with the solid object. So we're going to give, um, we're going to add an event. Now, GameMaker is an event-based language, so these events, they happen in the game, and there's something called a collision event. So click Add Event, and then click Collision. Right here, the two little arrows pointing at each other. Now it's going to give you a list of objects that you want to collide with. We're going to actually choose the solid object first. Okay. And we're going to drag over, um, come over, come over here to the right. And if you don't put any actions inside of here, then game maker will delete this event, but we actually don't need an action. Um, for the collisions to work. So what we're going to do is we're going to put a useless action in here, one that won't even do anything. Um, if you come down to, we could just put a comment in, but I think there's a way to do comments with drag and drop. And since this is a basic, I'm just going to do that. So if you go to control and then you can see this little exclamation point triangle thing, if you just drag that over, this is a comment that we can place in the code. And we're going to just comment this that says collide. Now the, this actually doesn't make us collide. All this does is make it so that GameMaker doesn't delete this event because it sees that there's an actual action. This comment actually doesn't do anything at all. This is just for us as humans so that we can see that and be like, oh yeah, this is for collisions. So let's run our game again. Save it and run the game. And you will see now that, oh, they collide and they actually hit the ground. But you'll also see that, I think over here it showed it. Um, let's make sure. Let's put these two on. This one should land on top of that one, right? Let's see what happens. Oh, that one went inside of that one. Why was that? It should have landed on it. Well, let's go back and look. Well, it's because we only have a collision event with a solid. We don't have a collision event with ourselves. So let's duplicate, you can right click on the event and you can do duplicate event and you can click collision again and this time select ourselves. And you can see that now we have a collision with both the solid and ourselves. Let's go back into our room and let's create a whole ton of these green boxes now. I'm just going to create a bunch of them and put them all over in this room. Okay, and we're going to save and press the green check the green go button. Now you can see, oh, they'll collide and they knock each other over and it's using um, pretty realistic physics, uh, which is really cool and really fun to play with. Um, before we end this video though, I'm going to show you one more little trick. Let's create a new object. 
And we're gonna actually do, well, we could do a little bit of code actually. Let's do a little bit of code. We're gonna call this object controller, okay? And this is just gonna allow us to create objects in our room. So we're gonna add an event and um, let's see. Yeah, we don't need a sprite for this object because the player won't even be able to see it. We're gonna add an event and we're gonna add a mouse event. We're gonna add a global mouse event. So a normal mouse event is when you actually click on the object, like left pressed is if I actually clicked on this object. But we're gonna do a global, a global mouse event, which means if you click anywhere in the room, we're gonna do a global left pressed. And all we're gonna do is we're gonna drag over, we're gonna go to control and come to this little code here. We're gonna drag over one of these into the actions, let it up, and it's gonna come up with a text editor where we can write some code. We're only gonna write one line of code. And it's gonna be instance underscore create, okay? So this is gonna create an instance of our box object. Now an instance is just like, um, it's just like, let's say the box object is a cookie cutter. It has the shape and the mold. The instance is the actual cookie. So when we run our game, what you see in the game is actual instances of our object box. So we're gonna create one of those during the game. And where do we wanna create this? Well, let's create it at the mouse's position. So we need to pass it an X and Y position. We're gonna do mouse underscore X. So that's the mouse's X position, comma, mouse underscore Y. That's the mouse's Y position. Now we need to tell it what object to use as our cookie cutter for these cookies. So we're gonna do a comma and we're gonna do object box. Then we're gonna do a parentheses and then a semicolon, and that is the only line of code we're gonna write. It's pretty simple, it just creates an instance at the mouse's position, and it creates an instance of the box object. So now we need to go into our room, and we need to put that object in the room, because if we forget to, then it won't work. Okay, we'll save, press play. Now when we're in the room, we can create these objects anywhere we want in the room. We can stack them up. You've already actually got kind of a little game here where you could try and play stack, you know, and oh, I tipped it over, but you could try and stack these boxes up. Um, you can see you can create them inside of each other. They kind of jump outside of each other. That's the physics trying to deal with the fact that the real world can't actually create stuff inside of it, but um, oops, let's try and balance that out again. wonder if I can... <laughs> whatever. Um, that is the basics for physics in Game Maker. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're new to Game Maker and you learned something, please like it. Um, if you're not new to Game Maker and you're one of my subscribers or you've seen some of my other videos, uh, I'd appreciate a like still. Uh, thank you guys for watching and I will talk to you guys later.